my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. Brenda here, and this is going to be your general tarot and oracle card forecast for this week. Keep in mind, not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but some of it will, as I say, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want a private reading with me, I am very booked up, but there's still a few openings for the month of December. You can see all that information posted below each and every single one of my videos, how to get into my website. You can actually book on the calendar yourself and you'll know when you're going to be coming in for a reading. Now, also I am on Spotify. The link is there as well. So let's take this reading to the table and see what we have here for you. Okay, my beautiful Geminis, here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for December the 19th to the 25th, 2022. Starting off with your all over oracle message, you've been given the card mending. So this is leading me to believe that there might be some making amends of a situation. Maybe something has, something was taken out of context or there is an unresolved issue with a relationship, a person, a family member, or somebody, a, a friend that you have been dealing with. You may be healing after maybe words were spoken. There may have been an argument, uh, again, where you may be healing through this. This is a card of forgiveness, okay? Each time we are hurt and allow that hurt to pass through us without understanding the integration, we accumulate unwanted burdens. So this keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal, the pain, the memories, all of those things that keep echoing through the resentment. So we have to let them go and heal uh, right now. And you may have come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're able to, move, if you're wanting to move forward now. And, uh, and being able to go forward here. So let things go. Everyone makes mistakes, especially when you want something very badly. You may come to realize that in chasing after a pretty shiny thing, you lost sight of a long-term uh, thing that could last forever. So this is about, you know, realizing that it's, it's better to forgive and let it go, throw it out into the universe so that we don't carry that within ourselves, the resentment, the disappointments, and the hurt. But also, it doesn't mean you have to condone the situation or accept the bad behavior that may have happened and being uh, put upon you. So this, you know, you may be dealing with some situations this week with family members, maybe your kids, maybe your, <clears throat> co uh, you know, people at work, um, anything like that where you're going to have to sit down and just have to discuss things and to clear the air. Don't leave any unresolved issues sitting there on the shelf when it comes to people. So forgiveness is going to be coming into play probably for some of you this week. Now your crossing over energy, Gemini, is this beautiful queen of wands. And we know who she is. She's set in her way. She's determined. She's lived through her experiences. And now she goes out after the world and she says, watch me. Those doubters that doubted that she could do anything. Now you're going to be stepping into the power of this Queen of Wands. Uh, you're going to be able to go for what you want. I think you may have been discouraged in the past, but you learned from those lessons. And now you're able to take that experience and go out there and set your world on fire. Go for what you want. Stay focused. She is always depicted with that black cat at her feet, totally fearless, brave, goes out after what she wants and, and stays focused on that, that situation or her goal that she's aiming for. So this is, requires bravery and courage and stamina and doing the due diligence and the work to get out there and do it. So don't allow yourself to sit back. Walk out in your glow. Walk out in your shine, my beautiful Geminis. You have a lot of light that you can walk in and throw out into the universe for others as well. So very strong, beautiful energy here. Now coming in in your first tarot card, you've got Nine of Cups. Yeah, great way to start a reading off. You've got some excellent cards here, my beautiful Geminis. You've got the Nine of Cups, you've got the, the, the Star card, you've got the Sun, best card in the deck, and you have the Wheel of Fortune. How can you go wrong, right? So if you've been doubting yourself, uh, carrying any energy around that you don't need to, it's time to let it go, throw it out into the universe, and realize the light that you have around you that you can share to the universe and walk in. Make a wish. Wishes come true. Nine of Cups says you're going to see wishes fulfilled. Whatever your goals are, don't be afraid to go after them. Send it out into the universe. Ask the powers that be to bring you this abundance that you've both so hardly so hard been working on so beautiful outcome coming into you beautiful card and the star going out there showcasing yourself this could be you out there uh you know 
uh, marketing yourself, going out there. Maybe you're out on YouTube like me. Maybe you're uh, having to, you're putting out resumes. Maybe you're out there demonstrating something uh, on a public level. Uh, this is you shining your light again and walking in it. You're a star. You're the headliner on your stage. And don't forget this. You have this ability to go after what you want, Gemini. Don't be afraid to do that. You're walking in your light now. You're in, your, in the power that you project out there. Stay confident. You can have your dreams come true as long as you go out there and let the universe and the powers that be know who you are and what your capabilities are, the talents, the gifts that you truly have. Wish big, dream big. This is wishes fulfilled and this is you wishing on a star but realizing that you can create this abundance and see fulfillment coming in. So it's beautiful. Now your center position is that of the Four of Pentacles and that could be you thinking about money, uh, investing money or investing your time into something that will help you with your money. You may be moving your money around, uh, trying to see what you have to do with it. You, you know, this is about holding on, worrying about lack and also some of you may have the resources to buy more with your money. You may see more money but I think you're holding on in most cases. You need to keep your eyes open. There could be some new possibilities of earning money or money coming into you. Um, I often talk about, you know, when money was tight, I thought I looked into my insurance policy and sure enough, I had this money sitting there in dividends and I needed an $8,000 roof on my house and bang, there it was. So do, do your work, do, uh, check into what you could have. You might be pleasantly surprised that there could be some money uh, that could come your way here. Now, also, I think you're being very careful. Uh, I think you're finding things, uh, you're worried about not having enough money. But keep your eyes open. I think you're going to see new opportunities that are going to present themselves that will allow you, if you're open-minded, to step through those doors and portholes of opportunity that gives you that chance to even make more money. So you might be thinking about things like that when it comes to your job and your business and your career. Now, coming in next, you have the sun. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Best card in the whole deck. You know that. This is prosperity. This is happiness. This is being able to move forward, seeing beautiful energy coming towards you. Uh, light at the end of the tunnel, being able to see a clear sight line here, uh, moving towards you. Uh, you know, whenever the sun comes out, it's always happiest for all of us, isn't it? We all know that it brings us this joy. Uh, you know, you may be succeeding in ways you never dreamed were possible because you're keeping your eyes open. You're going out there. You're, pr you're promoting yourself by putting yourself out there and letting people know who you are. Uh, I think you, you're doing the work here and you deserve this joy and maybe even public recognition coming into you. But it's also the card that lets me know that you're going to see beautiful, vibrant and physical and emotional good well-being coming into you at this time. You're walking in your path of abundant success and um, enlightenment, my beautiful, beautiful Geminis. Wow. Your final card, bingo, jackpot, wheel of fortune. Yes, karmically being set, there's beautiful, beautiful energy towards you in the form of good luck. So whatever you've been doing, you're going to see that the universe is going to shine down on you and reward you with something here. It's absolutely beautiful coming in towards you. So you have this chance now to see positive changes coming into your life and expect things are going to be better. You're going to see some beautiful opportunities present themselves to you. And, you know, you're going to be able to make changes in your life, whether they're big or small, they're definitely going to be working in your in your uh, favor. So anything that was bothering you in the past, you're going to see that negativity and those blocks being lifted and everything moving forward quickly now. So if events in the past really shook your faith, you're going to know now that they were actually positive situations for you to grow through and advance and move forward. So this is a card of good luck, right? Balanced karma almost a miracle and a twist of fate to have something beautiful like this coming in. Wow. Okay, well, you can't go wrong here, my beautiful Geminis. You've got a very positive reading here. The only concern you have is there may be some forgiveness that has to be initiated. Maybe things need to be fixed here in a relationship, but also being concerned about money. Um, I think you just need to keep your mind open to new opportunities, doors and portholes that could be available to you. And don't be closed minded about trying something new. There's going to be change coming in and I think it's going to be really happy change. Well, my beautiful Geminis, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon.